March is Women's History Month, and for the first time, Xfinity Premier is actually allowing a documentary about black women who have influenced American society to air on its platform. Now, the brainchild behind the documentary is Memphis native and Tennessee State University President Dr. Glenda Glover. As you see, she joins us live now. And Dr. Glover is also the international president of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Full transparency, I am a member. Dr. Glover, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. You know, the name of the documentary is 20 Pearls. So please tell me why you decided to do this documentary and why now? Well, I think it's important for us to tell our history. Black history must be told. Our history is always left out of world history. We want to ensure that the history of Alpha Kappa Alpha will be a part of American history, not just black history. The role that Alpha Kappa Alpha played in the civil rights movement, women's suffrage movement, uh, and how we still do these things today. So the fight for women's rights, the fight for equal rights. Uh, decades later, women still only got the right to vote many years later, but the role we played in women's suffrage, the, uh, it's just, it was important to bring 113 years of history and sisterhood to the big screen. You know, you're an executive producer on the project, but you got legendary documentary maker Deborah Riley Draper to make the documentary. And she's known for her work on Olympic pride and American prejudice, which chronicles the untold stories of African-American women. So why did you feel that she was the best person to tell this story on African-American women? And how did you all get it done during COVID? Okay, now that was a difficult part. The most difficult part of all was getting Kamala Harris <laughs> with all the, to go through all the, the, the security and then the pandemic, the bubble, uh, go through the test. But we knew that Deborah Draper had an outstanding record of doing uh, of filmmaking. She was a, she was a producer uh, that was recommended by several. So we interviewed her and, and she was amazing. So we selected her and so she too agreed. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. you know, she, um, this is not just uh, women's history or black history. This is world history because these stories actually talk about women during the Harlem Renaissance, the importance they had during World War II, NASA, women's rights, and the other things that you That's brought up. So how did you decide who you wanted to showcase in the documentary and or any from here in the Mid-South? Well, history dictated that. Once we, once we start putting together and the, the stories start falling together, we realized then we had to talk to, of course, the founders, uh, the great great granddaughter of the founder who was initiated the Alpha Chap at Howard University was very interesting. We, we had to talk to her, uh, just some of the other founders, the former presidents who were the living presidents. We talked to them, just the others. So we just started to become the history to start telling itself. But it was just so important that we talked to these young ladies these days because we knew it was important that the history had to be told correctly and that everyone had to know it was no longer a secret, just as. We know that Henry Ford created Model T, just as we know that Steve Jobs created Apple, Ted Turner, CNN. The world needs to know that nine black women on the campus of Howard University made one decision to change the world. You know, we have about 30 seconds left, but you brought up her name, the Vice President of the United States, Kamala Harris. You got her to participate in this, as well as a very known, well-known actress, Felicia Rashad, uh, from The Cosby Show, uh, to narrate it. How did you pull that off? Yes. Because that's no small feat. Well, it wasn't. It was. It was not as difficult. They were so interested in the project. Uh, Felicia Rashad was was very easy. She had some. She had her own set of standards that we had to, to which we had to comply. But that was not a difficult. It was not as difficult. The most difficult part was getting through the White House uh, and the campaigning um, personnel, the bubbles during COVID. That was the most difficult part. But we had to pass pass every test, and then it, we did. We're out of time, but 15 seconds. Tell me what you want not only women to take away from this, but everyone who watches it. The, the, the role that black women played throughout history, from the moment Alpha Kappa Alpha was formed in 1908, to all the others, Dutch Sigma Theta in 1913, on down, to Sigma Gamma Rho, Theta Phi Beta, all the, the role that Greek life played in the development of our country, and the civil rights movement, human rights movement, the voting rights movement, the role that civil rights have played in this and the role continue to play, the role women have played in this and will continue to play in this. You know, even right now in these trying times when they're taking away voting, voting rights and states are thinking about limiting voter, voting rights of individuals, it's important that the divine nine others come to the agreement that we must work together to stop this from happening. So the role that we must play and continue to play in our history. 
Dr. Gulliver, congratulations on a first and getting Xfinity to actually show this. Thank you for joining us. Honored to have you on. We're back in a moment, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you.